Hey, what is going on everybody? This is Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today we're going to be unboxing and doing the semi review here of this Martisan Nut Pro 2 that you guys have probably seen already here on YouTube. This channel called Sai Reviews Tech, which is amazing. This guy helped me a lot in order for me to complete this video. And it had to do mainly because of the software upgrade guys. I had no idea um, because of the fact that I don't have a lot of time. I had no idea how to upgrade it. And this guy took the time and dedication to do it and he was successful. So thanks to his video, I was able to upgrade to the latest ROM for this particular device, which is an OTA um, upgrade that was available for it. But unfortunately, GearBest had forced all the Google apps into it. And for that reason, it was lagging tremendously. And it was also causing an error every time you tried to do the upgrade via the OTA. So the firmware needed to be reflashed on it in order to complete the OTA that came from the factory. And thanks to this guy, I was very lucky to get this thing up and running in no time. So anyways guys, you also see the box here for the M Horse Pure 2 because we are completing here the giveaway. And as you guys know, I announced that about two weeks and a half ago, so the winner has been announced below. Make sure that you check it out. And also the winner will be receiving a message directly from me. You have one week to respond, otherwise I may have to select a different winner. So anyways guys, there we have it. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Continue subscribing. My goal for 2018 is to reach at least 200,000 subscribers. So please help me reach that goal by spreading the words. Make sure that you guys try to share my videos as much as you can. Make sure that you like them and also comment below and that will make my videos a little bit more popular than what they are. So getting a look at the box here on the front side, we just got the picture of the device itself here. And on the top, you got some symbols on here that I'm assuming it says Smartest and Nut Pro 2. And then on the back side, we had the specifications. This particular device comes with the Snapdragon 660, which is amazing. It comes with the Adreno 512. It has a six inch display with a 3500 million battery. Then on the front, we have a 16 megapixel camera. And on the back, we have a 12 megapixel sensor camera. So the rest will be mentioned as I go along with the video here. So let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. Now this cover here, guys, I have to admit, it looks kind of cheap. It makes you feel like you're buying a $50 phone. I don't know why they decided to go with the glossy material but that's just my opinion about the box so opening here the actual box uh, we got this Martisan logo right there okay then we have the T logo here and this Martisan logo here once more and that's pretty much it so nothing very fancy on there so here we have the device of course I have placed everything back like it came from factory so on the front here we have this protector that says the pride and joy of an artisan okay which is really nice message i like that so removing the protector we are greeted here with the phone and i'm going to attempt to focus this for you guys there we go so let's go ahead and remove here the back protector and here we are greeted with the 12 megapixel sensor camera which again is an absolute beast when it comes to the camera side uh, also records in 4k unfortunately it doesn't have optical m stabilization we have the led light the fingerprint scanner a sticker on the bottom here then on the right side of the phone we find here the volume rockers up and down um, then this is here the power key okay and also you guys can notice how we have this copper finish on the middle side of the phone that's just for design purposes i don't think that these are antennas but it looks very nice and elegant then on the left hand side of the phone here we have a dedicated shortcut key then we find here the sim card tray it is a dual sim device unfortunately we cannot upgrade the memory by the way this model here comes with 64 gigabytes of internal memory and 6 gigabytes of ram so we have sufficient ram sufficient memory but again it is not upgradable on the top here we have nothing okay we just got the uh, secondary microphone and towards the bottom here we have the main microphone with the loudspeaker and the USB type C port so that's pretty much all we have here for the body of the device oh and by the way in the front here is where we had that six inch display with a resolution of 2160 by 1080 uh, towards the top we have the ear speaker some sensors and the 60 megapixel front-facing camera no LED light this time it is absolutely plain on the very top here so let me go ahead and set this aside and now let's go ahead and check here the box we got a very nice and solid divider and here we have the manuals guys unfortunately they are all written in what i believe to be chinese uh, we do have the sim ejector tool right here then it comes with a quick start guide that i cannot read and also came with this other pamphlet on here about other products that they sell okay so that's kind of neat then inside of the box you find some 
accessories, of course. So we got here the uh, USB cable, okay? It supports the USB type C, so that's very cool. Uh, setting this aside, let's go ahead and check out here the next divider. Then we have here the American type wall charger. It is a fast charger, by the way. And this thing can charge from zero to 100 in about one hour and 10 minutes, approximately. So here we got the specifications of the charger. Very cool looking and simplistic. So that's kind of neat. And then inside of the box here, we have nothing else. So now let's go ahead and boot up here the Smartest Enough Pro 2 and talk about the software of the phone. All right, guys, so here we are coming back to the Smartisan Nut Pro 2 after three weeks and a half of testing. And of course, I went ahead and installed my SIM card. And the first surprise that I got is that, yes, this phone comes with the 4G LTE bands here in the USA. It works with AT&T and also T-Mobile, as well as all their prepaid companies like Metro PCS, uh, Cricket Wireless, Red Pocket, you name it. Pretty much any prepaid company except Boost Mobile, Sprint, and Verizon will not work with this particular device, unfortunately. But other than that, everything works great. It works just like any other flagship out there. Keep in mind that it has the Snapdragon 660 and the Adreno 512. So those two in combination would be great for gaming as well as the six gigabytes of RAM. It comes with face recognition, even though I don't trust it because I'm not sure if it goes to any Chinese server or whatever the case may be. Um, but you know, I went ahead and did my fingerprint, which I think is actually even worse, but I went ahead and trusted you know, at least for this time and for the sake of technology, I went ahead and uh, completed here my fingerprint. And yes, guys, it works absolutely great. I don't have any problems whatsoever. It is very responsive with barely any misreading. So this is something I was looking forward to. So anyways, on the front here, we have that six inch display with the 18 ratio, a resolution of 2160 by 1080. So it is very nice and bright. But anyways, guys, the battery, which is the 3500 million battery that we have built in, is absolutely great. It works pretty much the entire day. My day consists of getting up around 6.50 in the morning. I unplug my device. I check the news. I check YouTube. I check my messages. I check for pretty much anything that you may think of, even the weather. I check it on my device. And then after that, I go to work. I, of course, you know, start doing what I had to do inside the office. But then once I hit the road, I start listening to music. I start checking videos when I can, responding to emails when I can, responding to my boss's uh, phone calls and just numerous things that I do. And the battery did hold quite well. So this is something I was looking forward to, especially coming from a Chinese device. Now pricing, I know that many of you guys will complain about the pricing on this phone because you know it is considered a budget phone or it is supposed to be, but the price is about 400 and I think it's $26, but it can go down with coupons and uh, of course offers that these companies have, especially GearBest. They have coupons and offers available for this particular device, so you can get it for a little bit less. But now keep in mind, guys, that you are getting quality. Even though the first impression about this device was obviously kind of negative in the fact that it was having a lot of software issues, but it wasn't Smartisan's fault. It was pretty much GearBest's fault, but now that they know about the issue, they're not flashing the G apps any, any longer. So now what you have to do is go here into the Chinese market, uh, which is the one right here on the bottom left. You go in there, you search for Google, and then you type in other words on there. I can't remember what it was, but then on the tutorial that um, this gentleman provided, he shows you exactly how to install the Google applications on here and right now I have a functional Play Store. And by the way, I'm gonna go ahead and open it so you guys can see that everything is working fine. So that was the only um, issue that I had at the beginning, but then after that, um, you know, everything else works perfectly well. Of course, after completing the update, now I don't have any issues whatsoever. When it comes to the camera, I think I forgot to mention that this device comes with 4K recording. It doesn't have optical image stabilization, but the recording is absolutely perfect. It is great for low light. So yes, this phone on the camera side will compete with something like maybe the Galaxies or maybe even the iPhones because the camera is absolutely perfect, including that 16 megapixel shooter, guys, the quality, the wide angle, just everything about it is so, so great. Uh, now, something I'm missing here um, that I've seen on other Chinese devices is going to be the flash, but I guess we can't get it all with this device. But nevertheless, it is still a very, very good camera that anybody out there will be 100% satisfied with. The next thing we got here on settings, of course, we have some features that I consider to be gimmick, like the Big Bang. This is just like gestures and, um, you know, for you to zoom in into certain words, something that we have seen on pretty much any other smartphone out there. 
Um, it is just, you know, like I said, gimmicks. Maybe it's called something different, or maybe we have seen it with a different name on other devices. But now here they call it Big Bang. We have One Step, which is a little shortcut that allows you to access the multitasking. So you can do it either from the right um, of the screen, and then you point it like towards the middle side, and then you're gonna have here um, the multitasking, and not just the multitasking, but these are uh, apps that you usually use that the phone detects, like we have seen on the iPhones, where if you swipe all the way to the left, it'll give you suggested applications based on the usage that you give them. So of course, here you guys can see that I use a lot my browser, I use YouTube, I use the Google Play, I use my notes, because these are things that I use on a daily basis, and I use them when I was doing um, the testing of the battery for this particular device. So this is very cool to have. So certain um, features that we see on settings here are quite useful, uh, including this one right here that I just showed you. Then we have idea pills and that's another gimmick. So we have a few of them that yes are okay, but I guess they can confuse the consumer quite a bit until you actually use them and get your hands on them. Then you'll be like, oh, I remember this is called, you know, this on this other device and whatnot. So again, you know, they are good, but I consider them to be a gimmick for the most part. So then we have here about phone, and this is where it's going to give you the information uh, about the device internals. We have 64 gigabytes of memory, the Android 7.1.1, then here we can see the uh, RAM, six gigabytes, so nothing special there. Then of course, I went ahead and performed the Antutu benchmark test on this device, so I went ahead and did it on performance mode, and I got 142,000. Now this core here, guys, is definitely not a joke. For those of you who know about smartphones, the best score that I've seen so far was about 253,000 and it was on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. But now on this one here, it's quite competitive, especially for the price. I mean, you're paying basically half the price of a real flagship device now in 2018. So this score is definitely acceptable. And then here we have all the details about this device. Again, it is the Snapdragon 660, the Adreno 512. Everything on here is absolutely legit, so you guys can go ahead and read it if you wish to do so. There we can see the battery, 3500 milliamps, and so on and so forth. Now, another great aspect about this device, which I'm just trying to remember everything that I love about this phone, is going to be the loudspeaker. The loudspeaker, guys, it is almost as competitive as the one seen on the iPhone 10. Which in my opinion, I think the iPhone 10 has a lot more superior speakers than my Galaxy Note 8, but this is just an opinion. A lot of you guys may argue about it, but that's what I think. So anyways, this phone is quite competitive. Now, the only thing is that it is not a stereo speaker. It is only a single speaker here towards the bottom side. But I'm gonna try to show you here one of my own videos so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. And right now, I'm under my other account. So let me go ahead and type here my NJ. Let's go here into my channel. Let's go ahead and play the latest video here, and let's check it out. What's going on everybody, this is Jay here from Maji and Jay today checking out another M-Horse device and this one is the Pure 3, as you guys know about two weeks ago, I went ahead and unboxed and gave you guys the hands on of the Pure 2. So anyways, you guys kind of heard there the quality of the sound and yes guys, it has that bass into it and at the same time it has clarity. So listening to the speaker on this device is actually very pleasant, it's very comfortable to the ear and it doesn't sound like it's too loud but it doesn't sound like it's too um, dim, you know, in the sense that it doesn't sound muffled, it sounds very nice and crisp and it makes you feel like you have a much more expensive device, if I explain that correctly. So anyways, here we can see that it does have a true 1080p display because of the fact that we can go up to 1080p 60 frames per second here on YouTube. So that definitely tells us that we have a true 1080p display and that Smartisan didn't lie about it. So everything else about this operating system I like with the exception that, well, we don't have the option for an app drawer so far. Maybe we can get themes and stuff like that later on, but I haven't gotten into that point. I went ahead and tried some cool games like Ausbolt 8 and I believe I had here uh, Tekken. And all these games worked absolutely perfect. I didn't have any problems whatsoever. Keep in mind that it is the Snapdragon 660, so it is great for gaming. And also guys, like I said, the camera, the battery, and pretty much the entire software about this device are absolutely great. It's one of the best Chinese phones that I have tested so far in 2018. 
Now keep in mind guys that there's tons of phones coming now, especially the ones from Huawei. We had to really see what are the prices versus the Smartisan Net Pro 2. And then we had to uh, you know, see if this phone is truly competing with other higher end brands from China. Like I said, Huawei has come up with some amazing phones as well. So I really haven't gotten into them, but so far this is a very impressive device, especially for the price. So yes guys, I would definitely recommend this device to anybody if you're willing to spend the money and just have something different out there. Yes, this is a great phone to have. It works great, like I said before, and these other great channels also have their own opinions about the products and I do respect it. Um, Asai Reviews Tech did again amazing videos about this device and thanks to him I'm able to do my own video because he was able to help me flash the device and at first I thought I bricked it. It was an absolute mess guys. Like I said the first week that I had this device was just really bad but then you know I changed my opinion after the software update and this guy was a great support so make sure that you check his channel because channels like this that really help people because of you know joy and because they just like it from their heart really deserve a subscriber so make sure that you check his channel you won't regret it a bit so with this being said guys i think that we have now completed here the semi review and the unboxing of course of the smartison nut pro 2 and also the giveaway announcement this is all thanks to you guys thank you for supporting my channel please continue to do so my goal is to reach 200,000 by the end of this year and of course i will be bringing many more giveaways shortly so make sure that you guys stay tuned to the channel like this video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on my next one